My fellow Gibraltarians, Thursday presents us with a great opportunity to change the future of Gibraltar for the better by changing the party in government. My team includes people from all walks of life, all of them with the necessary experience to carry forward the government we need. I have been a lawyer for 17 years and a member of parliament for eight years already. This is longer than Mr. Caruana before he became chief minister at my age in 1996. Especially now, after the election of the Partido Popular into government of Spain, we must be careful not to send conflicting signals to Madrid. We in the GSLP Liberals have always been clear on the fundamental issue of our long-term relationship with Spain. Unfortunately, Mr. Caruana has not. At the United Nations, Mr. Caruana has even gone as far as to invite Spain to bring proposals on sovereignty to the Trilateral Forum. Yet the worst moment of Mr. Caruana's approach to managing relations with Spain must be what he said in Seville last year when he talked about recommending, and I have to emphasize the word recommending, an Andorra solution to you in a referendum. Can you imagine the implications of an Andorra solution and the impact it would have on Gibraltar's identity and our daily lives? Do not just take my word for it. See and hear what he said for yourselves. Un estatus como la Andorra, que es una, una, una situación en donde, eh, bueno, ustedes la conocen, la Andorra del post, posterior a su nueva constitución del, del 1993, no anterior, por supuesto. Eh, bien, pues si eso fuera viable, yo diría, bueno, ponga, pongámoslo a la, al, a la, al público de Gibraltar en referendo, yo incluso... Mm, mm, eh, no vería imposible recomendárselo al pueblo de Gibraltar. He went beyond saying he would put an Andorra solution to us in a referendum. He actually said he might consider recommending it. Perhaps that is why the Spanish Workers' Union, CityPeg, would prefer a GSD government. Because we in the GSLP Liberals are very clear in our approach. We will never recommend an Andorra solution to you or any solution that involves a Spanish head of state for Gibraltar. We will take part in trilateral forum talks for mutual cooperation and we will always be positive in pursuing a good relationship with our Spanish neighbours. But we will never allow Spain to undermine our right to self-determination. The most essential ingredient of self-government is financial stability. With almost half a billion pounds of gross debt, we need to think carefully about the future. Our manifesto makes clear that we will fund our program and even more importantly, we will halve the gross debt that Mr. Caruana is leaving us. Why is Mr. Caruana silent on how he will fund the GSD program for the next four years? Well, we know how he funded the 2007 GSD program by increasing debt from a maximum borrowing of 100 million to 480 million actual gross debt, almost half a billion pounds. That is, increasing our debt four times over in just four years. Our current gross debt is £16,000 per man, woman and child. The interest alone is £17 million a year at a time of record low interest rates. In fact, Mr. Caruana has admitted at the recent Chamber of Commerce dinner that the new power station, estimated to cost well over £130 million, will have to be paid for on top of the half billion pounds we already owe. So when you look at Mr. Caruana's manifesto for this election, realize that what you are looking at is increasing our debt unnecessarily more and more. It is that spiral of debt for the wrong projects that can lead us to ruin. That is why we in the GSLP Liberals have been careful to cost our program in a way that we know can be delivered and halve the current gross debt of £480 million by 2015 because we do not choose projects that can lead to economic ruin. Our programme is in many respects self-financing. In fact, I'm happy to report that we already have investors expressing interest in assisting with the development of Commonwealth Park and the underground parking we have planned there. As you have seen in our manifesto, Commonwealth Park 
will be a great asset for our city, an area of leisure and recreation for young and old, and all in the center of our city. Additionally, we already have a number of parties expressing real interest in developing the high-quality, affordable homes we have planned for co-ownership in different sites. The solar technology we will employ in the development is designed to keep purchasers' household bills down. As you can see, we have worked hard already to develop a model of what the new, modern, high-quality estates will look like. So whether it is on our debt, international relations, housing or jobs, as in all matters, you can see that we are better prepared to be entrusted with the administration of our government for the next four years. And all in a different style of government, a modern, inclusive approach, relying on teamwork between ministers and civil servants, not centralized, one-man government. For all of those reasons, Thursday is a defining moment in all our lives, and I approach this moment with humility. I do not wish to have power for power's sake. I do not wish to lead just for the sake of leading. My parents worked very hard to bring us up. They taught us how to treat people with dignity and respect. They taught us to work hard and to love and to care for our fellow man and woman, to always do our best and never to give up. They taught us to always be ready to compromise, but never to compromise our principles. They taught us the meaning of vulnerability, humility, and of courage. I come before you today, my fellow Gibraltarians. I come to those of you who wish to vote for me and my party, and those of you who wish to vote for one of my political opponents. I wish to assure you that if we are entrusted with the responsibility of forming the next government of Gibraltar on the 9th of December. We shall serve all of you. We shall work day and night if need be in order to keep the great Gibraltarian family safe and secure and to bring growth and prosperity to our country. The Gibraltarian nation is a responsible, good-natured and loving people. We, the 10 candidates of the GSLP Liberals, a team of skilled, experienced, passionate and committed individuals from all walks of life representing a cross-section of our community. We'll work tirelessly for you if you give us the privilege to serve you as your next government. This time we can make it count. There is hope in the air, there's a will to declare that it's time for change, time for change, it's time for some new Truly understand Time for change